Uh, that's a great question. Um, that was asked of William Ames at the Synod of Dort. You may have heard I've written a book on the Synod of Dort. That, I have heard. Uh, in that book, I talk about how William Ames, who was a great English Puritan and had had to flee from England because he wouldn't conform to the Church of England, he was a Congregationalist, and had found a home in the Netherlands among the welcoming Dutch. And uh, William Ames was the personal secretary to the president of the Synod of Dort in the early 17th century. And someone came to William Ames and said, uh, is Arminianism a heresy? Which was a question in that old sense of heresy. Is, is Arminianism a theological error so serious that it will deprive someone of salvation? And Ames, a staunch Calvinist, a staunch Puritan, responded by saying, um, no, Arminianism is not a heresy, uh, but it is a serious error tending to heresy. And what you see at the Synod of Dort is that already in the eight years, nine years between the death of Jacob Arminius, who was the father of Arminianism, and the meeting of the Synod of Dort, Arminius died in 1609, you remember, and the Synod met in 1618. Uh, in, those ten, in those nine years, uh, Arminianism had really radicalized and become more and more Pelagian. And I think um, Ames had a sense of that, that Arminianism is an unstable theological position. So it may be a position that tries to really emphasize grace, um, but it ends up usually more and more emphasizing free will, and instead of focusing on God, focusing on man's response. And the more you focus on man's response, the greater danger you are in of moving into a kind of heretical position that religion is about man, not about God. Um, a number of years ago now, I think in the late 1970s, J.I. Packer wrote a really helpful and insightful essay called Two Arminianisms. And he talks about what he calls rational Arminianism that does tend more and more towards Pelagianism and other errors as well, so Socinianism and a kind of rationalism. But then he contrasts that with what he calls evangelical Arminianism, particularly of John Wesley. And John Wesley always stressed grace as the priority. He wanted to keep some place for free will, but he wanted to talk about grace and the work of Christ. And, and Packer, I think, rightly said, these two Arminianisms are worlds apart. So you have to ask yourself, what kind of Arminianism are we confronting? Uh, and uh, it can, in its most radical forms, become a heresy. Um, but in its forms trying to stress grace and responsibility, it can be quite evangelical.